After three years away, Niall Horan is back with his new single, Heaven. Oh, congratulations, Niall. Hello. It's so lovely to see you. Good what to a, see you. That is a great tune. You must be so pleased. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. happy to, to see the reaction to it. It's been mad. Cause it has been. I spent a long time it's... away. You did. It was too long. Yeah, it really was, was too long. <laughs> but then, but then you, you want to get this just right, don't you? You yeah. want to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Because you are a perfectionist. And you I am, to yeah. Old... Probably too much. No, no, no. I don't think you can be. I don't think you can be. And there's a good message behind this song as well, isn't there? Yeah, I guess it's, it was kind of written from the idea of, like, I feel like in society, generally, there's kind of a... People feel like they have to hit certain milestones yes. by certain ages, and that can be across the board, whether that be in school or marriage or kids or whatever it may be. Um, and I just... Live in the moment, you know, yes. like in inverted commas. Um, no, you're yeah. right, like a yeah. child, because kids live in the moment, don't mm. they? And and paddle your own canoe. Correct. Do that. Correct. You know? That's what I try to do, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good and it's, it's a really, really positive message. And yeah. it's exactly what we, we need right now. Exactly, yeah. And the album will be coming out soon? June 9th, the show, Perfect. it's called. It's the show, yeah. that's there a good it is. one. Oh, it's I am. Good. Do you still get even even now at your stage? Yeah. Do you still get a little bit? Because that's your baby. Yeah. And then you're taking your baby out and showing it to everybody and going, "There you are." Yeah, what I What do you think? It is. It's it's actually the older I've gotten, the more I've been protective over it. You know, like yeah. it's a it's when you've worked so hard in it behind the scenes. Obviously, I disappear to to public. Yeah. From public view. Sure, you but like. you're beavering away. Yeah. Doing but I'm just you know underground yeah. there working away. <laughs> so it's um and you work really hard in it and you remember writing every song and writing every lyric and you know playing all the instruments and doing all the things you do behind the scenes and then all of a sudden it's June 9th and it's, it's out. there you go have yes. it um and then it's out in the world it's it is it's I've got become come to appreciate that process a bit more actually yeah. as I've gotten older. Yeah. No, absolutely. We had last week, we had Rita Wilson on the show, who's married, oh, of course, to Tom Hanks. Yeah. And she was talking about you. She's an enormous fan. She said she was at an Eagles concert. <laughs> and you, she heard two lovely, she called, lovely young men behind her who knew all the words. <laughs> and it was you and Luce Capaldi. It was, yeah. And then you had a bowl. You had, yeah. you know, the three of you just had a laugh. We had a great laugh. <laughs> well, yeah, we went to an Eagles concert at the Forum in LA and, um, yeah, it was, we were just excited to see Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson in front of us. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, and it was, we just ended up getting on really well. They just, they turned around, they heard us screaming in the background, look at us. Look at you two. Look this at... is one of the loveliest bromances I think we've ever had. <laughs> you just get each other, don't you? Yeah. You, you know really what do. It's like? it's like this. Exactly. It's like it's this. Like... <laughs> The Celtic vibes are strong. You the know? Celtic vibes are very, very strong. Um, and we, yeah, we do. We get on very well. But yeah, that, the Tom Hanks thing was so funny. Rita was lovely, and I think she, at one point she was trying to get. She was saying, "Would you sing on my album?" She was bringing out an album. That's what she was on talking right, about. Okay, it was about yeah. duets, and she's she's desperate to get both of you well, on. She never gave us a shout afterwards, Lorraine. Well, so you're, next time she's on, you're going to have to get her. No, she said she said she really, really wants to do this. Uh, Lots of things happening to you. Um, the Voice. How are you enjoying that as, as a mentor? Because yeah. if anybody is qualified to do it, it's you. You've been there. Yeah. You know what it's like. You can give all of that advice. Exactly. Yeah. We got we got, got the call up for the Voice in the States. So it, Chance the Rapper, Blake Shelton, uh, Kelly Clarkson. Great team. It's a great lineup, yeah. yeah but it's so much fun. Like yeah. it's it's just a banter between us alone. It's competitive, but in a really good way. Exactly, there it, we are it, as well. It is. Um, it is. It's hard though, isn't it? When you get to the later stages and they're all so blinking good. I know. It's difficult. It's Having tough. been there. Yeah. And like yeah, stood yeah, yeah, there yeah. watching someone else have my future in their hands, uh, is is tough. And then now I'm on that side making like. Crazy decisions for like 18, 19 year old kids, effectively. Um, and just knowing that I have their future is sure. it's tough. I'm not going to lie. If I lose that empathy, I'm heartless. <laughs> exactly. No, but, it's good that you feel like that. And yeah. also, you've given them a platform that they probably wouldn't have had and Correct. they can run with it. I hope, I hope so. You know, yeah. they could go, because you didn't win that show. No. It's, it's remarkable when you think about it that you guys didn't. Yeah, and then yes. look what happened. It just yeah. all went completely crazy, crazy. And you're all doing your own thing and doing incredibly, incredibly well. Indeed. Look, are you going to be doing some festivals on yeah. your own or, or how's that going to work? Yeah, I've never done a festival before, I'm weirdly enough. I'm surprised at that. I thought you would be. I yeah. thought you'd been doing all that. I know. That's what, I would have thought so too, but this is my first <laughs> round of festivals. Uh, right. I, I thought it was important like, to bring out an album, been away for a while, just go out and feel the love a little bit. Um, Absolutely. And maybe gain some new fans. Because I've walked around the field many times at festivals and, and <laughs> bumped into bands or artists that I didn't necessarily listen to before uh, and became it, it, fans. You're right. Of. It's a really good way to get your music out there. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because everybody's coming for different reasons. and they're all, Yeah, that's so it's interesting. It's going to be great. We're It'll doing be uh, really Isle of Wight. 
Drill. We're doing uh, Transmit, right. Glasgow. Good. And uh, yeah, they're the ones I'm doing here and then doing all over Europe, into Japan, the States. Um, Am I allowed yeah. to come to the Glasgow one especially? Of course you, you can. Can I come along? Please. Last, time I, not, last time I seen you at a gig. <laughs> we went to a deal. I might have had a sherry. I uh, might have just, had. It was, just, it was just the one. <laughs> You might have had half a sherry. Yeah, I, I, yeah, half, yeah. <laughs> and look, Evan said a bottle of sherry. <laughs> We're so naughty. We're so, we shouldn't be allowed. We shouldn't yeah. be allowed out. They keep us in. Keep we us in. We shouldn't inside. be allowed out, definitely. <laughs> You're a man that likes a knit, and I like that. I do, yeah. You. I, I, I'm liking this. Thank you. Is that part of the whole because you love golf? Does it all work with that? Uh, not necessarily, actually. I'm not even wearing it on the golf course. Uh, Are you still golfing? Are you still doing it? Oh, yeah. I did my knee playing five aside a couple of weeks ago. Uh, right. I tore my tendon that keeps my kneecap in place. Oh, yikes. Um, so that's that's probably the golf career over for a while. But, uh, yeah, no, I do, I'm just a fan of a knit. I'm sweating right now. Are you? Yeah. But that's OK. Well, that's all right, I suppose. <laughs> it's fine. Now, look, it's St Patrick's Day soon, end of the week. Yeah. Do you have a big celebration for that? Um, do you yeah. tend to? There'll be, there'll, be, there'll be a few pints anyway, of right. course, as always. Because uh, if you're Irish... That's what happens. It's the law. It's <laughs> yeah. the law. Do you know what? It is so good to see you. I know. It really is. It's brilliant that you've got all this fantastic music coming out because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, I've missed it. Missed being around the whole thing. Yeah. Miss seeing you. I know. It's I know. been too long. We were on Zoom the last time, I think. It was on Zoom the last time, and then we were both slightly merry, so we don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. I'm, you'd think at my time of life I'd behave myself, wouldn't no, you? I, For no, goodness sake. I expect nothing less from you, Lorraine. <laughs> now, it's a joy to see you. Good luck with everything. The Single Heaven is out right now, and the album The Show is out on June the 9th.